To complete this project, we're going to add two more important features. First, a button down here to share the processed image elsewhere on the device using ShareLink. And then we're going to encourage users to leave a review for our app on the App Store after a suitable amount of time has elapsed, of course. Neither of these are hard to accomplish, so let's get into the code. First, SwiftUI ShareLink, as you've seen previously, let us share things like text, URLs, and pictures very, very easily in one line of code. Even better, it automatically takes care of showing the system standard share sheet, only showing apps inside there that can handle the content we're actually sending. Now, in our case, our app right now has this share the picture comment here. That's to replace with a check to see if we actually have an image to share. And if there is, put it into a share link. So we'll replace the comment with this. If let process image, make a share link with the item inside it of our process image. Preview will be a share preview. I'll use Insta filter image as a description, and then image will be our process image. So the image itself is the content we're sharing and the preview of the content we're sharing. And that is already the first step complete. I'll just press Command R now, give it a quick try. Let's go ahead and choose a leaf, make it nice and sepia-ish, then press share. Now again, try it on a real device. You can see actually what it looks like seeing messages and more apps inside there. You can see our preview happening down here. I'm gonna scroll down and choose save to files. And ask you where you want to save it, I'll just choose on my phone, my simulator. And that's it, it's done. I can go to the home screen, go to the files app, and there's our image shared right now. Now, that's the first step complete. The second step is to uh, ask users for a review on the App Store. Remember, this is best shown only after the user has really felt the benefit of your app. Because if you ask too early, they're likely to ignore the prompt entirely or be annoyed by it and leave a negative review or who knows what. And so rather than always showing the request, we're gonna wait until they've actually changed filter at least 20 times. They've gone through all the options more than once, noodled around a little bit, hopefully they're feeling happy enough with the app to leave a review for us. And so we're gonna add a new import up here for store kit, and then add two new properties to our content view, one to get the review requester from SwiftUI's environment, and one to track how many filter change have taken place. We'll use app storage for that, so it's preserved between app runs. And so I'm gonna say app storage, filter count, var filter count is zero. And then at environment, I'll do request review, oops, Jersey, request review uh, with request review like that. And now, we're gonna add some code to the end of our set filter method so we increment filter count every time the filter changes and then activate request review when we have at least 20 filter changes active. And so let's find that method near the bottom down here. And I'll say, whenever we change the filter, add one to filter count. And if that is now at least 20, call request review. Now that's gonna trigger an error in Xcode. Boom, there we go. And the error doesn't really mean very much unless you really dig into the minutia of what's happening in Swift here. When you think it through, when requesting a review, it means show some UI on the screen. And the UI can only be safely done on Swift's main actor. That's the only part of our code that can safely talk to UI work. Now, we're obviously running our code right now inside a Swift UI view, UI stuff. But this exact method set filter, Swift cannot guarantee that piece of code is going to run on the main actor unless we specifically force that to be the case. And that sounds complicated, but it's not. It's trivial to fix. We've got to add at main actor in front of the func part. It's so easy, Xcode can do it for us. Let's bring up the error, then press fix, and boom, at main actor func set filter. And now, Swift will automatically for us make sure that this code here, the whole thing, will always run on the main actor, which makes request review safe to call. Now, before you run the code, I'd recommend you change filter count downwards from 20 for testing, five or even three. Uh, just make your life easier. Now press Command R. So the app runs again. 
I'll choose our leaf again. I'm gonna change filter to be crystallize. That's one. Change filter to be a Gaussian blur. That's two. Change filter to be a vignette. That's three. Boom. Are you enjoying it? Leave a review in the app store. Once you've tested it works correctly, of course, put it back to 20. Otherwise, it's not enough of a delay, I would say. But that last step completes the app. Go ahead, run it, try it out from end to end. Import a picture, apply whatever filter you want to, share a different app. We're now done. Good job.